a little bit of uh, Middle Eastern food <laughs> while my, the tequila world I drank <coughs> and I am myself from uh, from Lebanese uh, descent my, my grandparents came from Lebanon from the part of my mother and uh, if you think a little bit about uh, <coughs> Middle Eastern cuisine <coughs> Middle Eastern has all this uh, cuisine has all these dishes where they use uh, kebabs, minced meat, in some places they're called kebab, kofte, and the Lebanese, the Lebanese version of this is called kafta, rhymes like Frank Kafka, kafta. And I grew with that. So we thought about uh, making this dish for you. It's only, it's uh, beef. I wouldn't call it spicy beef. I would call it more like an aromatic beef, because the meat has a little bit of cumin, a little bit of onion and mint, but no fillers. Because what we have found uh, lately, and, and I don't mean Cozumel or Mexico, I mean Turkey, uh, uh, Greece, uh, the Balkans, when you buy this food street, we feel that it's, uh, it's not 100% uh, meat, it has fillers, soy maybe, whatever. So we want to do for you the version with 100% beef, uh, plus the spices that it needs. So here is our finished product. As you can see, you can see there a little bit of mint. It's very juicy, it's very tender, and it's delicious. So, Middle Eastern people, to accompany meat and their dishes... Oh, sorry about my microphone. This is, uh, we have tabule here, we have Ivar. Ivory is this relish that they show you a while ago, made your uh, eggplant and red bell pepper. Very delicious, very sweet. Then we have tzatziki here, and um, we have a blend of Tito's cheese. It's a cream cheese made of several cream cheese that we uh, combine to our taste. And um, this would be a very nice dish. So, we have a pita bread. Normal pizza bread that we can get here, and that it's used in Lebanon. In Lebanon, it's, it's this this flat bread. It's not the, the more uh, spongy one. I'm gonna turn this thing because my coin fell on it while I was telling about uh, my father, the gambler gambler man. And how to assemble? Typically, and I'm gonna help myself with this uh, spoon here. Typically, typically when in the street, you, you, they they just put. Uh, the kafta on the bread because you know how we like to serve a little serve you with the good food and uh, this is a lot so I will put just a little bit of this and what they do is just uh, top it with uh, top it with some uh, some of the sides that they have this tabule which is tomato uh, cucumber and wheat soft wheat of course and maybe I will add a little bit of tzatziki to it. I don't know. You can make your combinations as you like. And um, I'm not gonna overload it. I'm just gonna 
make it like this. I'm gonna put a little bit of Tito's cheese over here in the very beginning. Sorry about my finger there. It's my food. It's not for you. <laughs> for you to do it on So you practically what you make is a a big taco. And uh, and and uh, man, this is this smells way too good. I'm getting to a point where I, I don't want to get this to, when I can, you know, I can resist the urge to try this in front of you and I know it's very rude, I, I hope you will excuse me, just let me just give you a little bite. Mm. 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 This is absolutely good, absolutely aromatic, absolutely exotic. I'm sorry for this, but I need to be able, excuse me.